We're turning the spotlight now on wounded heroes. They work with up to 300 veterans annually, including combat veterans, medically released vets, and police and firefighters. So I'm going to introduce a hero to you right now. I'm joined by uh, a Purple Heart recipient, David Dettinger. We're getting caught up just about, David, your service and, and everything. I mean, let people know a little bit about you. And first of all, thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'm, like you said, I'm Purple Heart recipient times two. Oh. Got two Purple Hearts, and I earned those in six weeks' time, uh, mm -hmm. January 7th of 68 and February 21st of 68. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the Distinguished Service Cross and some other oh. two two bronze stars for valor. I don't know, I can go on. I was a little crazy back then, so. Uh, we have a number but, of people uh, here. I think we, we should all, a round of applause, right? Let's, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your well, service. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, we're, so, we're talking a little bit right. about, about wounded heroes, and, right. and this is a specific program that you have been a part of. Like, how, right. how have they helped you? Such a wonderful organization. Uh, you know, for, uh, for almost 50 years, uh, you know, it was just myself and my wife. I talked about my service and, and uh, you know, had very little contact with anyone else that, uh, you know, that, that served, that's, that's telling the truth. A lot, of, a lot of us Vietnam veterans want to embellish everything. Well, I got together with, I was invited to Alaska with Kentucky Wounded Heroes. Uh, and like you said, it was police, fire, EMS, uh, and uh, you know, these guys are great. We'd sit around the campfire, and you know, there was a lot of fishing done, but I tell people it wasn't about the fishing mm -hmm. at all. Uh, the camaraderie, uh, we had so much in common, even if it's a state police officer who was wounded in, uh, on duty. Uh, I could talk to him and actually feel, you know, if I asked him about his injury, I could actually feel that and vice versa. We just had so much in common that, mm -hmm. that so uh, it, it's just, uh, I've, I've uh, been hunting with the Kentucky Wounded Heroes pheasant hunting. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't do much other type of hunting, but the bird hunting was, was a blast. There again, we go out, we pheasant hunt, but we talk, we air things that other people just don't understand. Yeah. Uh, they do such a great job of, of organizing these outings and these rec these events oh, that oh that are great events. But like you said, yeah. the beauty of it is to be together and, and the camaraderie and shared experiences. There, there's nothing like it. Uh, I don't know how he does it, but our, you know, the leader, the head of the Kentucky Wounded Heroes, Chuck Reed, is just such a wonderful organizer. When we were in Alaska, for instance, uh, for some reason, one tour had, uh, was canceled. Mm -hmm. Well, he wanted something for these guys to do. He doesn't want them sitting around for two days waiting for the next tour. He's on the phone calling, making contact yeah. with everyone, trying to find some place, something to do. Yeah. For, you know, he wants to keep us busy. And it, it just, uh, I, I can't say enough about Kentucky Wounded Heroes. Yeah, it's just been wonderful. certainly so important in your life. Oh, and indeed, indeed. I, it gave me, after 50 some odd years, it really, and it still does, gives me the opportunity to relax and understand, you know, other folks, like I said earlier, it's, it's not about the fishing or the hunting, even though that's part of it. So uh, uh, we, we dine together. We just have sit around the campfire in Alaska, and and tell stories. Some of them true, some of them not. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's healing in many ways, it, is what it, it sounds is very like. Healing. You know? And and David, thank you again for your service. Thank you. And thank you because I mean that was certainly from the heart talking about the great work that they're doing. And I think if people are out there and they're thinking, I know a veteran that may benefit 
from something like that, you just need to go to woundedheroesfund.net.